Okay, so today I'm going to explain the rightly guided caliphs. After Muhammad died, there were four men called the rightly guided caliphs that ruled the Islamic people. The, the first one was Abu Bakr, as you can see here on the slide. The second one was Umar, the third one was Uthman, and the fourth one was Ali. They all ruled from the period of time 632 until 661. Okay, the reason that they're called the rightly guided caliphs is because they ruled correctly as they knew Muhammad personally. Um, the other things that they did were Abu Bakr introduced jihad. Okay, let's see. Do you remember what jihad is? If you don't, then wait, and in the next slide I'll explain it. But the best thing for you to do now would be to open your notebook and look it up, because this way you'll actually learn it. Um, they also introduced the Sharia law. Again, if you know what Sharia law is, you should think about it now. You can pause the tutorial if you want to look it up. And if not, in the next slide I'm going to explain it. They conquered lots of places, and when they conquered, they were very tolerant to, of other people's religious beliefs, okay? This made them popular and successful in their rule. And by 661, they had conquered all of Arabia, Syria, and Lower Egypt. Uh, when Ali was finally murdered by an enemy, the next people to take over were called the Umayyads, and in another tutorial, I'll explain that. Okay, so here are the answers to the previous questions that I asked. Hopefully you went and looked them up, but just if you didn't have time or are being a bit lazy, I'm going to tell you what they mean anyway. The first one is the Sharia law, which is a code of law that the Muslims must abide by. And to come to the laws that are included in the Sharia, they used information from the Quran, which hopefully you know is their holy book, things that Muhammad said that were written down, and the Sunnah. And the Sunnah is Muhammad's example. What do I mean by Muhammad's example? It means that you live your life according to the way Muhammad lived his. So Catholics try and live the way Jesus Christ lived and Muslims should try and live the way Muhammad did. And that's how they made up the Sharia law. And jihad is an armed struggle and it should be used against Muslims that are losing faith. The initial idea of jihad was not to try and fight or kill non-Muslims. It was, in fact, used by Abu Bakr, that I mentioned in the first slide, who's a rightly guided caliph, in order to stop bad Muslims from being bad Muslims, to try and force them into being good Muslims and to keep their faith. Hopefully this has clarified some of the things about the rightly guided caliphs, and if you want to know more about them, you can look in your notebook or in your textbook on pages 269 to 271. In the next tutorial, I'm going to talk about the Umayyads.